This thing has got no front brakes. Stay tuned, we're gonna get it fixed. So it's a 2013 Can-Am Outlander 500. A uh, customer brought this in, complaining that there was no front brakes. Um, literally, there is nothing on, nothing. Um, we checked down at the front calipers and there are no leaks, everything is dry. Uh, this machine's really clean. And we found the master cylinder is bad. So there's a slight leak uh, and it's not holding pressure. So the first thing you're gonna need is a eight millimeter or five sixteenths socket for the ratchet. And we're gonna loosen the bolts that hold on the master cylinder. Once those are removed, we're gonna pop this off. And then we've got the the whole brake master cylinder loose and we'll be able to take off the brake line now. So next we're gonna throw a paper towel underneath the master cylinder here for when we loosen that line, we don't want any brake fluid uh, coming onto the plastic here. So next we're gonna take a half or 13 mil and we're gonna loosen the bolt holding on the brake line. Once that is loose, you can take that and remove it. As you can see, there is not much brake fluid in there at all. So now we got the master cylinder off and time to put the new one in. So the new master cylinder from BRP comes with two new bolts and a new clamp for the perch and the master cylinder, new cover and everything. You just need to fill it with brake fluid and bleed it. Next, we're gonna remove this rubber plug. One thing to take note of is that with the new master cylinder from BRP, it did not come with new copper crush washers for the banjo bolt. Uh, we're gonna reuse the banjo bolt and we cleaned up the copper washers and we're gonna reuse those, those look good. Next step is mounting the master cylinder onto the handlebars. Basically reverse order, just put the bolts in, put the clamp for the perch on, tighten it. Now that those are finger tight, we're gonna tighten them up a little bit more, just so it stays. And we're gonna hop up on the machine. And we're just gonna set it back to a comfy spot. That looks good. And tighten it down. Just enough so it holds it. You don't want to go crazy with this. There we go. You'll feel it just when it tightens. Next, we're going to put on the brake line. So we've got the banjo bolt, then we have one copper washer, and then put that on the brake line. And let that sit there. Go over here, grab the other one, and we're gonna get the thread started. Take your half for 13 again, tighten that down. Don't wanna go too tight, but just tight enough to seat it and seat those washers. One more thing we've got to do is the customer had a rear view mirror mounted on. So we got to take that off and we just got to remount it back onto the new master cylinder. So to get that mirror off, you're just going to take a 14 wrench. Once the mirror is unthreaded, 
going to back up here and we're going to thread it in. Take our 14 wrench, give it a couple more turns. We're going to hop back on the machine. <clears throat> See if we like the angle. Perfect. Once you find the correct angle you want it at, cinch that baby down, which is good to go. Next, you're gonna take a Phillips screwdriver and you're gonna go up to the master cylinder Reservoir cap, and you're going to loosen them. So at this point, you want to be real diligent in keeping everything clean. So no dust going in here. I'll try and keep that cap on as much as you can to keep any dust or anything out. So that's what it looks like dry. Uh, ships, you got a diaphragm up here and brake fluid goes down there. Next, you're gonna take your brake fluid. We're using Napa brand uh, Dot 3 fluid. Uh, biggest thing is you wanna make sure you're using fresh stuff. It hasn't been sitting on the shelf for a couple of years. Brake fluid attracts moisture. Uh, so you wanna use as fresh a brake fluid as you can so nothing seizes later on. So take your brake fluid. And we're just going to pour a little bit in. So I went ahead and removed the tires for this next step. Uh, you don't need to, but I thought it would be a little bit easier for you to see uh, what's going on. So anytime you open a brake system, you have to bleed it. There's a couple different ways that you can do it. Gravity bleed, uh, the old school way. Oh. Put a tube on there, a little clear hose, and then have somebody up there pump, or you can pump if you got long arms. What I have and I use is a vacuum bleeder. So we're gonna go set that up and I'll be back. So this is the vacuum bleeder that we use. Uh, it's a Mighty Vac uh, model MV6830. Uh, we're in no way sponsored by Mighty Vac. This is just what we've used for the last few years. And it's worked great, works great on cars, ATVs, pretty much anything you need to uh, bleed brakes with. There's a straw um, that it comes with that you can suck up fluids. So once you get your air compressor hooked up to the vacuum bleeder, go over here to your bleed screw. And you're going to take that same 5 16 or 8 mil, make sure it's clean. And you're going to just back it off just a couple little turns just enough fluid will start coming out so we're going to put the vacuum tube on there our compressor sucked up and now we're just going to open it slightly and that's going to suck fluid down So you're going to have to keep an eye out up at the master cylinder up here because that brake fluid level is going to be dropping and you do not want it to go dry otherwise you're going to have to restart the whole process over. So fill it up a couple times, make sure you don't have any air in the lines, everything's flowing good. This side is bled. Pull the vacuum hose, and now we're gonna tighten the bleeder back up. That side's done. Bubbles are 
check all the errors out on that side. Now take your master cylinder cap, set that on, grab the screws, put those in, tighten them down. We're going to have a little bit leak out, so just grab a paper towel. New master cylinder on. Oh yeah. Feels a lot better. Let's get the tires back on and take this thing for a test drive. that fixed it if you like what you saw or helped you in any way please like and subscribe to our youtube channel lefty snowmobile and atv salvage